So we're gonna do rhinoplasty for this handsome guy. So we're gonna narrow the dorsum, I'm gonna reduce the width of the ala base and define its tip a little bit. So it's just gonna be minor work. Uh, might be able to do this with um, a closed structure rhinoplasty. And the next issue is, if you see carefully, he has a little bit asymmetry on the chin. So his chin has moved a bit, six millimeters or so towards the left side. So we're gonna get that in the midline. And the other concern is the swelling here on both the sides, you can see the swelling. So we're gonna do angle osteoplasty, osteotomy, some work on the masseter muscle to take this part of the mandible of the part of the lower face, lower third inside. She's gonna get a much straighter jawline and much more angular face. You see his malar bones are not very prominent. If this was more prominent like that, it would look even better. We're not gonna do anything with the molar, malar bones now, but the proportion of the intermalar distance with the intergonial distance is very critical. So since we're not augmenting this now, which we could if he desires later on, we're gonna get this part of the intergonial distance reduced uh, to give much better facial proportions. So we're planning to first uh, do a nasal intubation, work on the lower third of the face and then give an oral intubation and work on the nose. And some patients on whom we do a similar face makeover, we can also do an intubation from the transmilar head region. Okay, turn this side. I can see this swelling. Can you clench your teeth? I can see the masita now coming into action in this much area. And this side also clench your teeth. Okay, right. Thank you. So we're doing a net and other genioplasty, jaw sculpting, angle osteoplasty, V-line surgery. So I'm going to show you uh, what we've done. Let me just fix this retractor back. Hold on, hold on. Give me a lower body channel retractor. Hold this. Right to the bottom. That's the nerve. So yeah, it's a bit messy. But you can see, I hope. I'm just gonna show you more light. So what you see here is the mental nerve. I haven't freed it much. We didn't need to free it much because we're working more posteriorly to that and more also on here. What you see that is a messy the muscle. I've removed a bit of it that side and I want to take off some more little later. We've also removed part of the bone there, which I'm going to show right now. And uh, you can give it to me. Yeah. So, so this is the bone. So this is right inside. And it has been removed. You can see the bend, which is preventing the face from being, you can see that? That's a, that's a huge bend, that's about five, seven millimeters outside. So we've taken it off. And uh, I've also done a lot of osteoplasty. Osteoplasty is smoothening the bone. Osteectomy is cutting and removing, like what I did there. And osteotomy is making a cut and fracturing the bone and moving it to a new dimension, a new direction. And so we're gonna do combination of all of this. So we've also done a similar thing on this side. I haven't yet done the osteoplasty work here. You can see that the bone will be rough now. We're gonna do this after this video. You can see that? And we've also some ooze because we just finished the osteotomy. So you're gonna show me that piece now on this side. It's a similar piece. Uh, you can see the one on the other side. It's almost same. And as I mentioned, this is the angle that was here, which we removed part of the masseta muscle. We to remove some more as well. We take off five millimeters of that. And this is done all from inside the mouth. I want to show you what exactly we have accomplished by doing this. So we're taking this part of the face inside to compare with the intermalar distance. And you know, that's also going to give him a nice, more angular looking jaw. You can already see, it's only going to get slightly better. We're going to do some sculpting there. All right. 
turn this light also on. So one of the things that's really hard to do is to make sure you have very good hemostasis uh, at the very end of these kind of procedures because we're dealing with the masseter muscle and its attachment and it's very, very vascular. And this is after I've done the osteoplasty. First osteotomy, osteoplasty. So muscle work and now we've achieved hemostasis. Okay, see even after that there's a small welling up of blood. Okay, so this is just to make sure that's the nerve ahead. And we've also done a similar work on the other side. I'm going to show you now a little bit more uh, blood here. Okay, so. So I'm going to show you here. This is similar as you can see. What you see on that side is a little muscle fiber. And here is the bone. Some of the bone wax that I've used. Okay. Along with that, so what has been done on the chin is like a contouring genioplasty. So contour the chin more especially on the patient's left side. You can see the contouring on this aspect. We've made it broad and I've done a little soft tissue work here. You can see that. So this is just to give them a right contour on the chin. So you could do work on the there for my dissection okay and uh, so now we've got a very nice looking chin which is symmetrical we had five to six millimeters of asymmetry also this is going to go in and so it's going to have a much more angular lower third it's going to augment his facial aesthetic significantly Stab marks are for the osteotomy. So yeah, gently. Yeah. So I'm doing osteotomy to reduce the width of the nose. This is a closed rhinoplasty. And you see I've done on the other side already. So then give me a gauze. I want to show you how the width of the nose is going to come down right now. Can you see that? So it's probably moved in by two, three millimeters. So we're not expecting great movement for him. We just want a subtle movement. But you can already see that it's moved a bit. So there's no bone now. Once the soft tissue adapts itself, 
so it's gonna adapt itself like this so it's gonna have a much narrow dorsal and uh, we just finished his septoplasty so we had a deviated septum Show me the septal cartilage and I will remove. So I removed the septal cartilage. This was a bend aspect inferiorly. So that was removed and I fixed the septum on the midline. Now I need to put some sutures to make sure the septum is bang in the midline. So we just finished with this rhinoplasty. This was a closed structure rhinoplasty. Osteotomy was done, tip plasty. And yes, a lot of septal work. So we're also going to show you the septal harvest. Well, actually the septal excision. Bend septum and ala base work. So you can see the nose has become much more narrow. You see the nose was very very flat, very very broad, so we fixed that now.